This is the famous Nanjing City Wall. The ancient city wall carries over 600 years of history, including many truths and secrets. For example, when it was first built, the city wall was 35 kilometers long and required an estimated 380 million bricks to build. However, these bricks were made by hand. So how did the ancient Chinese make so many of them? 380 million bricks can encircle the Earth's circumference just more than once. Six centuries ago, it was all manual labor without machines. So how did the ancient Chinese make so many wall bricks? In the fall of 2016, Nanjing Archaeological Research Institute found more than 100 kilns under Guanyao village in Xixia district during an archaeological expedition. This was once an enormous official kiln plant. Meanwhile, in Lichuan County, Fuzhou City, Jiangxi Province, experts discovered the largest and best preserved site of Nanjing city wall brick kilns to date. It turns out that 600 years ago, to build the Nanjing City Wall, Chu Yuan Chang mobilized one million workers to make bricks at more than 10,000 official kilns in over 170 cities and counties throughout the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River. These bricks were delivered to Nanjing via the waterways. It certainly would have been a spectacular scene. The construction of city walls in China reached its peak in the Ming and Qing dynasties. In China, the history of building city walls dates back even farther. Incomplete data show that 6,000 or more city walls for different cities were built throughout China's history. These ancient city walls have become unique historical symbols of an ancient civilization. These bricks were made over 600 years ago and hold some amazing secrets about the Nanjing city wall. It's rarely seen in other parts of the world that engravings like this are made into the bricks of city walls. So where exactly is this mysterious text recorded? Uh, 九江府的提调官司隶下面就是姚将余信。那么在这块砖头上呢，分别有总甲、甲首、小甲、造砖人夫以及姚将五级责任人。The wall brick engravings tell us where they were from, as well as the identities of the production supervisor, raw brick molder, and firing worker. What's even more amazing is that historians and archaeologists reveal a system in ancient China. It was this system that made the city walls of the Ming Dynasty completely impregnable.
那么我们这个名城砖上的每一块砖头上都是刻有专文的。为什么要刻字呢？实际上它就是一个中国古代的责任追究制。我们把这个呢也称之为叫做误乐功名。This city wall brick workmanship responsibility system usually consisted of nine levels, sometimes up to eleven. To prevent shoddy workmanship and ensure the quality of the city wall bricks, Chu Yuan Chang decreed that engravings be engraved on both sides of the bricks. This was perhaps the most comprehensive quality responsibility tracking system in the world then. Concrete is an important material, but it wasn't invented until the 19th century. So, what adhesive did the ancient Chinese use to build this huge city wall that's lasted for over six centuries? Before the invention of Portland cement in 1824, various organic or inorganic materials were used around the world to produce adhesives for construction. The Chinese used an adhesive made of food. Archaeologists found a type of white emulsion resembling stalactite seeping out from between the gaps of the Nanjing city wall bricks. Uh, Nanjing city's wall bricks have many legends. There are 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 many legends. 呃，糯米汁如果添加糯米汁，就会使得这个粘合剂异常的一个牢固。但是呢，糯米汁的一个传说啊、呃，只是停留在一个传说的一个层面。目前呢，我们还没有得到科学的一个确切的一个证实。呃，这有待我们进一进做一些进一步的一个实验。Legend has it that this super adhesive was sticky rice, often eaten by the Chinese. Which has a high viscosity after being steamed. The Chinese mixed sticky rice and mortar, and invented a super adhesive, sticky rice mortar. In ancient China, despite limited agricultural output and repeated natural disasters, this precious sticky rice was still used to build a city wall. If that's the case, just how important was this project? There is a multitude of secrets and truths on this ancient city wall. Who invented the amazing celestial model? How does profound geomancy protect the residents of a city? What mysteries lie hidden within the troop hiding cave? How does ingenious military defensive engineering make a city impregnable? As future generations decipher them one by one, we witness the extraordinary wisdom of this distant and glorious civilization.